hello guys welcome back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated so here is the updated solution for this lab so first of all just log in with your credentials and once you're done with this click on this checkbox and click on agree and continue now here just simply search for the vertex ai and click over here now just wait for a second and make sure you have to click on this enable or recommendation api just wait now just simply click on this work page wait for a second and then click on this new notebook okay then click on this smart analyst then click on this apache beam and then without gpus okay just click over here and now here please pay attention you have to choose the region as us central one okay make sure you have to choose the region us central one and click on create now just wait and if you just go back to your lab instruction and if you just simply scroll down and here you can see for me the region is us west one and for you it might be different whatever the region you have to choose the region us central one because this region available every time and because of that you won't face any issue while doing this lab if you face some kind of issue while starting and creating the jupiter lab again just click on this new notebook and again do the step now just wait for a couple of minutes and then we are able to click on this open jupiter lab and it's finally done click on this open jupiter lab it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile just simply scroll down and copy this command okay copy this git clone command wait for a second it's done scroll down a little bit click on this terminal option and run the first command over here and it's done now if you just simply scroll down once the command will be execute you will get a score on this task number called create and download the repository okay so just wait and let's see and it's finally done now if you just simply click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue now what you have to do on the task number one copy this first command run over here scroll down a little bit copy this command run over here then copy this command and just wait for this command get execute and start now run the second command then copy this third command and run okay again scroll down copy this command and run over here now just wait for this command get ex execute and it's finally done now just simply scroll down copy this last command and run over here just wait for to this command get, get it execute and it's done now just copy this command run over here and once this command is execute you will get a score on this line so just before that we have to just run this command so just wait
so it's done now make sure you have to run this update your pipeline code command just copy this and run over here so it's done now if you just simply click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue okay now for the task number two copy this command run over here okay once you're done with this command now here you can see we have to create a docker file so how to do that click on this training folder then click on this quest folder then click on this data flow underscore python folder and then click on this two underscore branching underscore pipeline again click on this labs and here you are in this two folder now what you have to do just right click over here then click on this new file okay and then the file will create now what you have to do just copy this name docker name as a file name make sure you do not copy that comma just copy this name click over here then click on this rename and rename this file like this just wait and it look like this double click over here now what you have to do just copy this content and paste over here and make sure the number of lines for this docker file must be 8 if it's not just refresh the page and again copy the content okay now what you have to do click on this file then click on save file and start now copy this command come back to your terminal and run the command over here now this command is going to take couple of minutes so just make sure that your laptop will not go for a sleep otherwise the terminal will be disconnect and because of that you might face an unnecessary error so just make sure of that thing and now let's wait for a couple of minutes and let's see
and it's finally done now what you have to do if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue okay now again we have to create one file so just copy this file carefully come back over here and again just right click over here click on this new file and now just rename the file like this just wait and rename now just right click over here and then click on open with editor just wait and then you are able to edit the file so just copy this content and paste over here and just make sure that for the meta.json the number of line must be 31 if it's not just refresh the page and again copy the content now what you have to do first of all we have to just change the name for our pipeline so i'm just giving the name quick lab and in the description box i am just typing subscribe to channel okay then click on this file then file then click on save json file so it's done now just simply scroll down copy this command go back to your terminal and run the command over here and just wait for a couple of seconds and it's done now if you just simply click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue now for the task number four just open this link in incognito window just wait for a second then click on this create now for the job name just type quick lab now for the data flow template make sure you have to just copy this custom template if you just copy any extra space then you are not able to find the custom template over here okay so just click over here now just wait for a second now it's asking for the template path just click on this browse option wait for a second then click on your project id click on this arrow wait for a second then click on this template folder and here you can see this file just click over here and then click on select wait for a second and start now other parameter will be load over here so no need to worry about that meanwhile just simply scroll down now copy this thing carefully just wait for a second and here you can see the required parameter just paste over here as an input file then copy this output path location so just copy that and here paste over here now what we have to do we have to just give the big query output table so just copy this content or just simply scroll down and here you can see optional parameter click over here and here you can see big query output table so just paste over here like this scroll down a little bit and click on run just wait and it's done now what you have to do just simply scroll down come on the task number five copy this command go back to your terminal and run the command over here just wait for a second and click on enter just wait and it's done now again switch back to your data flow and if you just simply click on jobs and here you can see there are two jobs in running one we have created using ui and second one we have creating using command line now this thing is going to take around five to ten minutes so just wait and after that we are done with this lab
and finally after eight minutes my job is success now if i just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress i will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys